Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick little video about uh, goose trailer um, setups and that kind of stuff. I've been looking on the internet and really couldn't find, you know, there's, there's some good options out there, but nothing like I was looking for for what I and how we hunt. So I just wanted to kind of give you a, a kind of quick tutorial of my upgrade. So we upgraded from the 6, 6, 6 by 12 single axle. Um, we go to Canada and just overload the thing and it just wasn't big enough. So we upgraded to a, what is this? This is a 14.7 by 6.6. Six. Um, quite a bit bigger trailer, but uh, wanted to show you some upgrades I did. I ordered the trailer with pre-mounted external work lights. They're great. Uh, flush mounted switch on the inside, all 12 volt. Um, so the first thing I want to go over is we we painted the floor with truck bed armor. There's Libby Dog. Um, truck bed armor from Harbor Freight. Um, works really good. We went, uh, I don't know, about 18 or 20 inches up the wall. Um, just to protect that uh, floor from getting all beat up and uh, waterlogged and that kind of stuff. So. Um, what we didn't have in that little trailer is this Vino's. We went to a Vino's for extra storage. So we have that little storage box in front, but uh, all the all the tools and all the rakes, shovels, the, the vortex, everything, the bird hitch, everything was just kind of laying on the floor or strapped to the wall with bungees and it just didn't work for us. Um, so I was kind of looking at just how to store you know garden equipment and I came up with these these are just you know thick walled ABS um, PVC pipe and they're just drilled and screwed to the wall I don't know if you can see in there but uh, I put that one by six across there to give it some depth so you can get get the shovels in and out and you can turn them around and that kind of stuff worked really good um, I got like five inch and I got four inch and I got three inch. Um, the three inch or the four inch works really good. This is all of our flags and we'll put some markers in there and stuff if we need to like mark the X in the field or anything like that. Uh, so for the bird hitch, uh, you know, we, we go up to Canada and we got to bring those birds back a certain way with the wings attached. And so we use this bird hitch, it works really good. But uh, I found this old hitch in my shop and I drilled a hole, a couple holes through it and bolted it to the wall and uh, it's it's pretty cool. I don't know if we can, it just, just slides right in, slides right out. And then when we, when we get done hunting, we come up here and we just pull that one out, put it in right here and that's how we clean, clean our birds. So, and then uh, up in Canada, we have this storage bin that we just slide in here and it just in our old one and it just kind of was in the way so I decided to build I just built these two two storage shelves like up in the V so they're flush with the V for the most part um, pretty rock solid sturdy bolted to the side bolted them to the studs with self-tapping metal screws, built cross members. If you guys are so inclined, this is a 60 degree angle, 60 degree angle to make this board one single piece. And then it's a, it's a 27 degree up here to, to make those. Those are two 27 degree angles to make that work. But, uh, and then, uh, yeah, we just, we have a, we ordered it with a, hot battery wires going to the charging block. So as we're trailering this, pulling this trailer, it's gonna be charging this battery. And we have external lights that, or internal lights run off of that 12 volt. We ran some 12 volt rope light up, up on the shelves and up under this shelf. So in the middle of the oh dark 30 morning as we're setting up, we have ample light um, and then our external lights also work just off of battery power so if we wanted to we 
could just run all our all of our lights right off the battery it doesn't need to be hooked to the tra trailer so i put uh when we ordered this these these hooks were in the floor and i we have no need for them in the floor i feel like they're just going to get dirt caught in them and stuff so we had a move we uh thanks to fox trailers and post falls idaho they did a really good job uh setting this thing up for us and ordering it the right way and so we uh we just got the hooks put them up on the wall so we can hang layout blinds and strap the panel blinds in but uh i ran some one inch wood screws up under there so they stick out so when you're nice and solid too so when you're moving stuff around you're ready to just hook it you don't have to pull it out with another hand and hook it again so I just wanted to kind of go over things with you guys um, the way we stored our decoys in that one we uh, we ended up running a wire we drilled holes and ran cable all the way well that cable started to sag over time the turnbuckles were wearing out and just over time and it bounced it bounced a lot so now what we do is we we have most of our all of our full bodies are in these six slot avery slicks six slot bags we um uh, we have avnx fully flocks and so now we just come in here in this bag with this hook you just flip it right on there it's nice and secure you can slide this stuff is rock solid so what did i this is half inch conduit okay it's pipe strapped every other length so this is bolted with a 5 16 2 inch bolt okay i took the conduit and i flattened it out right and i bent it into a 90 drilled a hole in it and so every other like this is 47 inches right so from this bolt to this is 47 inches but i mean you could do a pull up on that thing moving the whole trailer so the idea is to get all of our full bodies up off the ground so then they don't wear when they're riding in the bags um, as bad and then we can put like all of our layout blinds that are open on the floor or our shells um, our silhouettes we use big grain bags in canada for all the full body snows and blues and specks um, so we can get them in and out quicker so and then uh yeah i just built and then for a spare tire holder in the other one we welded a we welded a, a rack up here we had a rack made and it was hanging from the ceiling because in that little one we didn't want to take up any floor space but in this one with the way the shelves are built the tires kind of up and out of the way there so what I did is, I'll just kind of show you real quick, see if I can get this bolt off of my hand. Okay, so then I just bolted a 2x4 to the wall with self-tapping metal school screws to the metal stud. And then on the top, the 2x4 on the top, I just drilled and counter -suck a, sunk a bolt in there and then wood screwed that to the other one. So. It makes a nice, quick, quick and easy spare tire holder. It doesn't have to hold very much weight because, well, the the tire's sitting on the ground. Yeah. So I don't know. I just did a did a few things like holding the vortex up so it's up out of the way. We'll just steal the battery out of here or put another one on the floor for the vortex when we're up there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I think it's gonna work pretty slick. I like I like how this is rigid, so we can uh, just swing those. You know, before with the wire, with the wire you kind of had to pull down on it. This one you, you just swing and it clicks. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Um, we did we did order this trailer with um with a straight axle just to give us that kind of that four-wheel drive look but honestly it gives us almost 17 inches of ground clearance at the trailer at the at the um we're over six in, in, in inches at the axles so all right guys well i 
Appreciate it. Thanks.